here we got the our float bowl accelerator pump all clean we got our float float pin all clean we got our pilot jet very clean next up is our main jets so we got our main jets here Put it back here in the cardboard cleaned outside spread a little bit and I'm out of rags so I'm using paper towels which is not a bad idea as well so just clean the outside since the jets are big and you could actually see through it I would just clean it on the outside. If you have a thicker bristle or wire that goes through, that would be great as well. So I just do this number, clean it, and also spray carburetor cleaner through it. And dry it off, and our main jet is clean. And then its body, same thing. Take note on this piece, I forgot to uh, inform you guys, there's a rubber o-ring inside. Make sure you take that out first or you don't lose it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Probably with the use of the pilot jet, I'm going to try to push that o-ring out. And there's our o-ring. Make sure if the o-ring is cracked that needs to be replaced. Make sure you do install it. Without the o-ring the bike's not gonna run right. So keep this, put it aside, a little o-ring, try to remember, let's put it next to the brass washer. So we carry on and cleaning this too. So here we go. Carb cleaner, two through. Outside, okay. Now wipe it clean. As you can see, you got dirt there. Let's clean that. I usually use swabs, use a swab. Sometimes it won't fit, so you just try to make it fit. So here goes our swab. Turn through. And there you go. Let's double check, make sure it's very clean. Use the other side. And there you have it. We got our float bowl clean, we got our float needle pilot jet, main jets, and all we have is our needle, float needle, and needle seat over here, which is unfortunately seized up, but I will try to see if I could actually uh, clean this up, which I really don't recommend, I just recommend replacing it, so uh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> First, I take out this wire over here by sliding it out. You go, it slides sideways. As you can see, it's, we got it out. There's our little piece, it's out. And now we got our seat and the needle stuck in there. Go. With a plier, I'll try to yank it out if I could by holding the tip lightly, not so much that it won't that it will break it. So you do this number, hold it snug, spin the seat until the needle 
disengages. And there you go. You got our needle out. Very, very dirty. So it's the seat. So what we do, spray it with carb cleaner or dip it in the chem dip. Make sure when you before you dip it in the chem dip, you take out the o-ring. So let's take out the o-ring. So what we spray it with carb cleaner. O-ring out. Set aside. Let's set up our seat. And our needle starts spraying at the car cleaner. Let the car cleaner soak in. It's really dirty. Just lodge the dirt and gunk. So is the seat. See, as you can see, it's really, really dirty still. Pressure needed, necessary. Get up a rag or 